Greetings from the Eastern Nigerian Dubai. Another update for this Saturday. Nigerian security agencies not serious about engaging bandits. They only appear after attacks just to mark victims. That's Sultan of Sokoto saying. That's the Al Haji Saad Abubakar, Sultan of Sokoto and President General, Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. He has accused the Nigerian military and other security agencies. Said they are avoiding open confrontation or direct confrontation, if you like, with bandits as well as terrorists. Saad Abubakar handed this criticism at the second quarterly meeting of the Nigerian Interreligious Council with the team Media and Effective Nation Building in Abuja on Thursday. And look at what he said. I quote, Throughout the campaigns and the elections, we never had these cases of insecurity. Suddenly, after the elections, the killings continued across Nigeria, across Niger, Plateau, Kaduna, and other places. These killings are definitely not related to religion, but the activities of some set of uninformed people. Imagine a situation where bandits would invade a community, kill people, and destroy their properties with little or no resistance from the security officials, only for the security officials to appear long after the attacks and, and perhaps to mock the people or look at the ashes of destroyed items. Few days ago, it was reported that some United States Embassy staff were killed and burnt in Anambra State. That's barbaric and shouldn't have happened because there is no justification for that. Why this resurgence? Definitely, this, these resurgences are not religious. Since a new government is coming in, we are sure we can engage the government to hit the ground running in bringing solutions to these problems. But we cannot continue that way because when bandits just go into people's communities, kill them and burn their houses and nothing is done, then when the deed is done, the security agencies would go there to do what? To look at the ashes that are being burnt. End of quote. Now, this is what the Sultan is saying concerning the security situation in Nigeria. Since Buhari is the president of Nigeria, eight years have passed, and Sultan is saying this. Sultan is saying, look, that the security agencies are doing nothing. Say so the army, the police, the navy, the air force, none of them, they are doing nothing to stop this insecurity. Say so they appear when the deed has been done. Just to mock the victims and to, and to, you know, take a look at the ashes. Where are you on Christmas? That is what the Sultan is saying. They will appear. We are running about on Christmas. So after the lives have been lost, property destroyed, they will appear from the moon. So where have they been all the while the thing is happening? See, that means they are they are avoiding open or direct confrontation with this uh, hoodlums, terrorists, bandits. That is it. So but why is he saying this now? Why is Sultan making this statement now? Buhari is leaving office the next couple of days. And we are going to witness another Muslim president. Yes, we are going to witness another Muslim president in this country. The one that is leaving didn't do anything, you know, to uplift Nigerians from poverty. He didn't stop the insecurity, he said he would stop. Nigeria became worse than he met it. That is it. That is it. Because this Sultan is the spiritual leader of Nigerian Muslims. He is the spiritual leader. Yes. So he is having his, his adher the adherence of the, of the faith he is leading in Nigeria as president and vice president.
together in this coming dispensation if it comes and so he's saying this the security agents they are doing nothing he gave them zero percent said they are doing nothing nothing so he's supposed to come and tell us the truth he's been economical because they know all that is happening in northern nigeria both the one they are transporting to the to the southern nigeria they know all they know every is being a pure ball they know it all they know that this uh, terrorist has infiltrated the army the military they know it they know it they know that the military is apologetical they have soft spot for the terrorists because some of the army are terrorists they infiltrated it they said that they have repented no way they didn't repent anything they have government tools who are in government powerful people in government who are sponsoring this Boko Haram it's not new people are aware the United Arab Emirates the United States of America have a, 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 you know offered a, a happy hand to Nigeria in the area of naming these people these top men these government officials these big boys big men in Nigerian palace these state actors who involve themselves in this terrorism these countries have offered to help but nigerian government declined they don't want it because they know what will happen okay and so sultan is aware of this he's privy to all these things we're saying he knows it so they have been economical why we are worried is it because we have tried and tried because of our sisters and brothers in northern nigeria that they stop this thing they are doing for the christians who are in northern nigeria too we have been crying and saying stop this you are doing stop this organized you know terrorism stop it because of our brothers as we are still shouting and christians in northern nigeria but they have continued to do it they have continued and they're still they're importing it into the southern nigeria this tourism when you see the fulani husband in la panta when you see the fulani husband in ondo states in ondo forest what are they doing it's terrorism they have said they want to run up the whole nigeria they are buying up arms stalking it to take over and when you see this incoming administration, their presidents, their faith, the prophets, see, I do the, to give these people the leeway to embolden them more and more to fire, fire attacks. So it's a, it's a very deplorable situation we have uh, found ourselves in, in this contraption. And that's why we say every day, join in the struggle to live 